Hey guys, so I've got a new tutorial today and this is going to be about almost creating a drunk effect or, you know, getting to grips with the use of motion blurring inside of Unity. Now, as I said, this can be used in a few different ways and you'll see it in a lot of sort of games which add motion blur to the sort of edges of your character or the camera when you move about and there is an effect like that in Unity and that's the camera motion blur but I'm, we're going to use the motion blur which affects the whole... Um, uh, front of the camera and we're going to make it so you can almost have a drunk effect now what you need to do is go to your main camera and then go component image effects and motion blur now it might be slightly different in yours um, but this is a pro, uh, unity pro asset so it'll only work in sort of that um, area so if I play the game now with that motion blur on you'll notice you know there's a motion blur all around and it looks you know sort of um, a drunk or sort of pin taking drug style effect now we're going to do it in a couple of different ways to make this actually work now first way is going to be a, a collider maybe you go through some smoke or some particles and it might make your vision blurred or I'm going to show you another way where you press a button and it's a, there for a period of time. It could be when you've taken some pills or a drink or something like that. But first of all, we'll do the collider. Create a new JavaScript and call this Motion Blur Trigger. Open that up in MonDevelop. And then what we want to do is create a private variable called m blur and set that as type motion blur put a semicolon then write function start add two curly brackets and say that m blur equals game object dot find open brackets um, add quotes main camera close that up dot get component open brackets motion blur close that up put a semicolon then we'll say m blur um, dot enabled equals false that just means when the script starts motion blur will be equal to false and we can't see it and then we'll say function on trigger enter open brackets call colon collider close that up add two semicolons and we'll say if call dot tag is equal to player then add the two curly brackets underneath and say m blur dot enabled equals true we'll copy this exact same um, function paste it in and instead of on trigger enter we'll change it to on trigger exit and then we'll say that m blur dot enabled equals false now if we save that go back into unity go onto the collider that I've got and add the script make sure that it is trigger I'll make the collider a lot bigger so you can see when I walk into it now at first there's no motion blur and you can see on the main camera it's not ticked now if I walk towards the collider you'll notice that when we're inside the collider you get the motion blur and then when you're out of it again there's nothing there so only when you're inside do you actually see it now that's that for that example I'll just get rid of that trigger for now then what we're going to do is create another script and this is going to be controlling it on a button press now it's going to be very very similar to the other one but we'll call this I don't know drunk open this up in MonDevelop again and then what we'll actually do is copy this entire first part because we're going to keep this the same you know we're going to use this to reference what we're doing and then under here we'll say function update then add two curly brackets and say that if input dot get key down open brackets whatever button you want so I'll add T add two closing brackets then add two curly brackets and say m blur dot enabled equals true and then we might actually want to add a timer so we don't want it to last forever so we'll say if um, m blur dot enabled 
is equal to true then what we'll do is we'll say that we'll create a new variable called timer drunk and say minus equals time dot delta time and then up here what we can do is say variable timer drunk as type float and what we'll do actually is set this to like about five seconds maybe three seconds for the sake of the demo three seconds this if a motion blur is equal to true when we press T then it'll start counting down then we'll say that if um, timer drunk is less than or equal to zero so that's when the timers reach zero we'll add two curly brackets and say timer drunk then equals zero so it sets it back um, sets it back to its own amount and then motion blur and blur dot enabled equals false so now if we go into unity and go to the main camera the drunk script then now we press play and you'll see that nothing will have happened if we press T the motion blur comes on and you can see it counting down at that side and then it gets set to normal one thing I forgot to do is instead of making that timer drunk equal to zero set that to five again well actually set that to three set it to the same value as your timer drunk so we'll press T you know it counts down wait again press T again and it counts down for the period of seconds that you want um, so that's pretty much the basis of using the motion blur and then having two different instances of where you can actually use that where it's in trigger or whether you've pressed a button or something like that but that just shows you the basics of an effect that you can use to create um, something you know a bit more interesting so if you like the tutorial as ever don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers